New York at Christmas, the spectacle you need to see is Christmas in Brooklyn. We're talking OG Christmas in Brooklyn, the OTT extravaganza that are the Christmas lights Diker Heights Brooklyn displays. Let's go check it out. It's got to be seen to be believed. <laughs> Every neighborhood does not explode in a frenzy of lights and display at Christmas in Brooklyn. You need to head out to the old Italian neighborhoods. And that's not the easiest to get to by public transportation, but judging by the crowds, plenty of people made the trek. The first time we went, we took a Christmas tour by bus from Manhattan, which I will link to below. And the second time we went, we just took our car and parked nearby. It's kind of hard to get parking, but it is definitely doable. So not every house gets into a major light fest mood, but um, it would be kind of hard living next door to a house that you can see from space. So I think lots of people do get into the holiday spirit. As you can see, the streets are mobbed and the police are out keeping order because this has such a, become such a big holiday tradition in this neighborhood. And it does get cold because you are right by the, the ocean and in Brooklyn. And so wrap up warm and make sure that you have uh, your walking boots on because there's plenty to see and do in this neighborhood. Thousands of visitors every year come to see an authentic side of Brooklyn where people don't order a turmeric latte with oat milk to go with their avocado toast. Is it tasteful? Depends on what your definition of tasteful is. I'm sure that the real housewives of somewhere think so. So how did this all get started? A nona named Lucy Spata. Don't mess with Italian nonas. You all know that. At her Christmas house in Brooklyn, Lucy put up 40 angels to commemorate the passing of her beloved mother in the 1980s. The neighbors were sympathetic at first, but then they started complaining. So with true Brooklyn attitude, Lucy told them to stick their complaints where the sun don't shine. And the neighbors retaliated by calling the cops on her Christmas house in Brooklyn. Then it was war. Time to hit the mattresses, or at least round up some unemployed actors slash waiters in New York City. So Lucy hired carol singers for her front lawn. The neighbors finally decided the lights may be bright, but at least they were quieter than off, off, off Broadway singing. So if you like this video, remember to click like and to subscribe. Thank you. So what price lights for these New York City at Christmas tradition, you may ask? There are tens of thousands of lights and tens of thousands of dollars that are spent. And that's not even counting for the electricity. There are professional Christmas decorators who come and do your house and lawn up for you. And they store it in the suburbs somewhere in off season. I mean, what kind of garage would you need to store all this stuff otherwise? Definitely not a Brooklyn-sized garage. Where would all the White Claws go? And it's not just for Italian Catholics. Check out the Blue Christmas House. The husband is Italian Catholic and his wife is Jewish. For their Christmas in Brooklyn, they compromised on blue lights because blue and white is a traditional Hanukkah color and lights for the Catholic side of the family. And also we have Sammy the Greek. He has Christmas a house in Brooklyn that flaunts his uh, Vegas-style neon lights. And Christmas music, just to be in the mood. And he's Greek, in case you missed the Greek flag, or his name, Sammy the Greek, or the Greek word spelling out Merry Christmas in the front of his house. So, don't have a basic Christmas in New York. Sure, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree is fantastic and totally worth visiting. But it is, after all, just a giant tree. You can see that in other places. I mean, London has a tree in Trafalgar Square, and I'm sure Paris does in every other place. But I bet you, though, you will not get a Diker Heights type of Christmas lights display in any other neighborhood in the world. And possibly that's a good thing. 
So in a world that is full of scanty minimalism and good taste, uh, this is a delightful harkening back to a time when you had money and you flaunted it and Christmas was all plastic and lights and a celebration for many people that was the biggest event of the year. Watching. If you like this video, remember to click like and to subscribe for more travel and travel related videos. We, we hope to see you again soon. Coming up on our Christmas tour in December, we are back at one of my favorite stores in London, Liberty of London, which uh, does a fantastic Christmas display. And they also have their um, annual um, chorus that comes and sings.